Hey guys, I wanted to do this video. This is not a normal crafting video f for me, and um, I'm only doing this video because it could help you, and I'm really, I just have to show you. So anyways, I am actually, it's about my hands. I'm actually going to the doctor today, so I pulled this out because I wanted to take it to the doctor with me to show her what finally got rid of the eczema on my hands. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you will know how bad my hands were. I mean, I literally had raised scars, red. Um, this was so dry, there was hardly any flesh left, and I constantly did everything. I did all the steroid creams from the doctor, very expensive. The most expensive lotions from the drugstore, the gloves on the hands at night. Um, at one particular time, I even got an injection under one of the scars, which did get it away, but it would just come out elsewhere. So if you look in my previous videos, like maybe last year's videos or something, which I'll try to take a screenshot of my hands, but if you follow me for a long time, you'll remember how bad my hands were. My kids used to make fun of me and say, I can't believe you put those crusty hands in, in videos. And I mean, I would go to the store and have people say, oh my gosh, what happened? Because I literally looked like I was burned everywhere. And it was eczema. And for years, I mean, I suffered with it for years. When my son was little, he didn't even want to hold my hand. He would tell me, oh, your crusty hands, yuck. But anyways, so about a year ago, maybe not even a year ago, maybe it's been six months, I don't know. I researched on Amazon because I don't even remember where I heard to, I honestly don't remember where I heard that someone said rose hip seed oil. I don't even remember. I don't know if I read it online or something. So I thought I would try it. And I'm going to tell you, this is what it looks like. It comes in a bottle. I got it on Amazon. I'm not going to put a link to where I got it because if you just go to Amazon and type in the search bar rose hip seed oil you will come up with so many people that sell it um it's pure 100 percent pure and natural rose hip oil organic and it's 100 percent organic steam distilled and it has cleared my hands up this is the only thing that, look at this this morning when I told my husband I was taking this in to show the doctor so she could refer it to patients that um, he, he didn't even notice. He looked at my hands and said, oh my gosh, they are there. It's gone. So I'm going to actually try to take a screenshot of how my hands used to look and they stayed that way for like years, five, about five years. I couldn't get rid of it. And then I started using this. I still use it. I use it every day. It is a very dry oil. Some of the um, uh, feedback on Amazon will say that it can get like a stenchy odor. This is my second bottle, and I, mine's odorless. I don't smell it. It's the first bottle that I had. This is my second bottle already. The first bottle that I had, and I used the whole bottle, and it's a big bottle. You get four fluid ounces. And I, it's under 20 bucks. I think I paid like 12 something for this. And it lasts a long time. I mean, look at how big the bottle is. But anyways, um, and it's in a dark bottle because you shouldn't keep it in the light. In fact, a lot of things say to keep it in the refrigerator. I don't because if I had it in the refrigerator, I wouldn't put it on my hands all the time. I'd forget. So I keep it right out on my bathroom. And every time I wash my hands, when I wake up in the morning... Before I go, I, I probably put this on two, two to three times. I, I was putting it on all the, you know, several times a day. Now I pretty much do it maybe twice a day. But they're cleared up. I still get the itching where I have the eczema, you know. And as soon as I put my lotions on that take care of itching, I'm okay. But it got rid of my scarring. It got rid of the redness. It got rid of the, the dry. But I will tell you... Um, it is colored. The first one that I had was not as orange as this one. Um, it was more clear because I think I bought a different maker or whoever made it. But um, 
So people say, oh, it stains your skin or it gets a rancid smell to it. Mine does not smell and I don't keep it in the refrigerator, but my house is also always kept pretty cool. Um, I don't keep my house really warm. So that could be it. If you don't have air conditioning or something, then I'd probably keep it in the refrigerator. But mine does not smell. It does put an orange color on your skin for a few minutes. It goes away. I'm not kidding. It looks really intense. But I rub it in just like this. And it's a dry oil. So it looks like it's really oily. But I'm telling you, when I wipe my hands, it seriously goes right into your skin and it goes away. And I don't care about the orange look. And when and then I usually will put, hand, I, every time I wash my hands, I put hand lotion on. By the time I get out of the house or 10 minutes later, that oranginess is gone. So, and anyways, it makes you look suntanned. <laughs> so it is a very dry oil. So you're not like, it's already gone on my hands. I can go ahead and touch paper and it's not leaving an oily so it's really nice it, they say you can use it as a moisturizer on your face as well and I did use it sometimes around my eyes but um, I don't really use a lot of stuff on my face I just I don't like putting stuff on my face I don't know maybe I'm lazy but anyways I'll read it it says this one's Radha I think that's who the maker is of it I'm not sure but it says, I gotta put my glasses on. It says on here, rose hip, Radha Rosehip Oil contains essential fatty acids which help rejuvenate the skin and protect from premature aging. Used for naturally toning the skin. I guess that's what the orange is. So I guess you could get rid of your bronzers if you want to put that on your face. But um, used for naturally toning of the skin, premature aging. Used for naturally... They wrote that twice. Used for naturally toning the skin. I didn't read it twice. They actually wrote it twice. Reduce wrinkles, heal scarring, and improve the skin's moisture levels. Apply two to three drops to your fingers and gently massage onto your face, neck, and body. I just do it on my hands. I can't tell you enough about this. So if you have eczema, or if your children have eczema, and I don't, it has no smell. Mine doesn't. If yours is rancid, then... I'd send it back and tell them to give you another one. But I've had two bottles. I don't have the rancid smell. Never got it either. So I'm not kidding. I am taking this to the doctor with me to show her because she's she's seen my hands. Nothing has cured it except this. So if I can't get a picture of how my hands were, then go through my previous videos and my tutorial videos and you will see how bad my hands were. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you in case because I know a lot of people do suffer with, you know, eczema on your hands and, and stuff and maybe even try putting it, you know, on a face as a moisturizer. I know I do. I probably will use it more this winter when my skin gets dry on my face, around my eyes, but my skin's pretty good. I don't really need a moisturizer on my face. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, if you have used it and you know, let me know. And let me know if you do use it and it works. I'd love to hear more feedback. So I'm actually going to go. I never put um, a review, which there are tons of reviews on this stuff. But I got to go do that because this is a miracle for me. Honest to goodness. So, all right. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. And I get mine at Amazon. I'm sure if you call like health stores or something or um i never really looked for it in the grocery store but i just ordered it on amazon and it comes to my house and and it's cheap so there you go a little tip from me i got good hands now <laughs> all right everybody take care talk to you later bye